Hello, how are you today? So I love the different generations. I coach people from like, you know, 18 to 80, literally. Like I work with people of all different um, ages and generations. And I think a lot about like generational norms and acceptance across the generations and, and just the different thought processes that get wired into each different kind of period of time and what we label as generations. So I'm generation X, my kids are generation Z. They, uh, they don't care for the millennials. I actually think the millennial generation is charming. I'm not a big fan of the boomers. <laughs> Anyway, it's just really funny how we have these ideas, like there's literally millions of people who are grouped in any of these generations. And one of the things that I find is really beneficial to having um, more fun in your life is really looking for and inviting in different generational influences. So I think one of the brilliant opportunities like when people have kids is that does give us like a like an avenue into the the generation that they're born into and their thought patterns and how they think the world works and how that is is maybe different than or similar to how things were when we grew up and I love actually I joke I'm like millennials have the most like delicious tv shows <laughs> I actually recently watched The Politician and it's got different generations represented on that show. And it's just, it's like splashy and over the top. And it's just very, it's a very millennial vibe show. So as you reflect on ways you can actually amplify the fun in your life, I would encourage you look to bring in different generations. Look at your social circle of people that you communicate with in real life on a regular basis. Do you have at least four generations represented? If not, maybe it's time to go and like, you know, bring in some other influences, you know, watch um, TV movies, read books from different time periods and different generations and see what their thoughts are about life and how, you know how they change over time like things that we assume as a culture or cultural norms that we grow up in they change over time which means that collectively our thinking is changing and individually that means there's a lot of flexibility in how the world works and what we believe is true and how we can show up and i really the other thing is too is when you work with a a like cross section of people of different ages and generations and all different ways that you can bring more diversity and inclusion into your life it all it's really helpful in reminding us that human beings want they want to do meaningful work they want to be seen and recognized for their contribution and you know we all love it when someone loves us and accepts us for who we are warts and all, even all those generationally inappropriate things that we just got programmed into us when we were kids. It kind of makes me think about um, Archie Bunker. What is the name of that show? Um, you know, back in the 70s, there were, there were shows that were kind of pressing on this idea that there's like the old way of doing things and the younger kids had different ideas or even Sanford and Sons, right? Like there were a lot of things that I got exposed to as a child that may have made me a little bit more open-minded in the sense that like, oh, look at what happens when you get older, you can become closed-minded and, you know, closed off to the ideas of your generation. And I've noticed for myself that if I'm looking for a station on Pandora that's kind of a go-to comfort. Um, it's probably going to be 80s alternative or new wave, right? Like a little culture club will transport me back in time into an area where there was a lot of possibility and comfort. And I deliberately try to listen to music from different generations in order to um, actually bring in a little bit of like discomfort, not like you know, intense discomfort, but this sense of, 
I want to be exposed to a lot of different ideas to constantly remind myself that my ideas, my preferences, my beliefs are largely shaped by the culture and community that I was incubated in. Teenage years are incredibly formative for establishing core beliefs and identities and um, cultural references. And it's really fun to make sure that I um, that I'm intentionally stretching the edges of the box that my brain wants to put me in generationally. So take a look this week at your social circle and see if you could experiment with stepping out of your generation and getting influences from others. You never know what you might discover about yourself. Awesome. Have fun and talk to you next week.